Good morning. I'm Don Siles. We are live streaming from the 12th floor of the Highway Annex in Richmond, Virginia. Welcome to the March 28, 2018 bid letting. We have 27 projects today. We will start them with the three plant mix projects. I will read the remaining uh, in alphanumeric order. We will read the bids from the highest to the lowest and then announce with the lowest bid whether it exceeds the engineer's estimate or not. So the first project today, we will start with order number 202. This is a plant mix in Montgomery County and we have but one bidder. That one bidder is Adams Construction Company. His bid is $1,418,249.41. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. The next job is order 622. This is a plant mix in Stafford County and we have three offers. First offer is from Branscom Inc. with a bid of $2,742,607.91. Superior Paving Corporation, $2,175,997.70. And the final offer for order 622 comes from Virginia Paving Company. Their bid is $1,921,668.95. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. And the final plant mix today uh, is order 948. This is in Fairfax County. We have three offers. First offer comes from Virginia Paving Company. Their bid is $8,988,984.83. Fort Meyer Construction Corporation, $8,947,600. $22.74 and the final offer for order 948 comes from Francis O'Day Company Inc. Their bid $8,839,902 even. The low bid exceeds the limits of the evaluative estimate. Okay, the first of our regular jobs is order M48. This is a project to widen Route 460 in the city of Salem. We have six offers. First offer comes from Boring Contractors, Inc. Their bid, $10,117,733.60. Fielder's Choice Enterprises, Inc. $9,600,673.30. Allegheny Construction Company, Inc. $9,163,872.23. E.C. Pace Company, Inc. $9,119,774.35.
Branch Civil Inc. Eight million seven hundred fifty-eight thousand six hundred four dollars and twenty-four cents. And the final offer for M48 comes from Kanawa Stone Company Inc. Their bid is eight million four hundred forty thousand seven hundred six dollars and forty-eight cents. <throat> The low bid exceeds the limits of the evaluative estimate. Moving now to order N17. This is an on-call bridge washing in the Hampton Roads District. We have four offers. First offer comes from Titan Industrial Services, Inc. And their bid is $404,665.14. Curtis Contracting, Inc., $322,251.76. D'Angelo Brothers, LLC, $222,222.21. And the final offer for N17 comes from ETI Environmental, Inc., with a bid of $153,840.32. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Okay, order N18. This is a district on call bridge repair in the Bristol district. We have three offers. First offer comes from Crossroads Bridge, Inc. with a bid of $376,062.50. Lanford Brothers Company, Inc., $294,399. And the final offer for N18 comes from Elk Knob, Inc. Their bid, $236,950. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. <coughs> Order N19, this is uh, I-81 acceleration, deceleration extensions at the uh, 220 and 221 exits in Augusta County. We have four offers. First offer is from A&J Development and Excavation, Inc. Their bid is $5,424,611.55. Phillips Construction, LLC, $4,892,985.15. Fielder's Choice Enterprises, Inc., $4,692,580.40. And the final offer for N19 comes from Kickin' Asphalt Paving and Ceiling with a bid of $3,000,000. $811,236.80. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Moving now to N21. This is a contractor to replace a bridge on Route 308 over Three Creek. We have six offers. First offer comes from Curtis Contracting, Inc. Their bid is $3,422,578.47. Infrastructure and Industrial Contractor Southeast, Inc. $3,297,520.60. Crofton Construction Services, Inc. $2,854,687.84. Abernathy Construction Corporation, $2,737,462.44. English Construction Company, Inc., $2,767,000. <coughs> 
$2,273,178.27. And the final offer for N21 comes from McLean Contracting. Their bid is $2,178,368 even. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Order N23, this is a concrete pavement repair and asphalt overlay on the uh, Western Freeway in the City of Portsmouth. We have three offers. First offer comes from Allen Myers, Virginia, Inc. Their bid is $3,799,777. Virginia Paving Company, $3,738,218.89. And the final offer for N23 comes from Branscom Inc. Their bid is $3,659,231.80. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. N24, this is a concrete and asphalt repair on the ramps of I-264 in the city of Norfolk. And we have two offers. First offer is from Denton Concrete Services, Inc. Their bid is $1,398,503.76. The final offer for N24 comes from Curtis Contracting, Inc. Their bid is $1,226,724.60. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. N25, this is a concrete repair job on I. 64 main line in the city of uh, Chesapeake. We have three bidders. First offer comes from Interstate Improvements Inc. with a bid of $1,628,135.97. Curtis Contracting Inc. $1,157,311.64. And the final offer for N25 comes from Denton Concrete Services Company with a bid of $948,875. Pardon me. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Next job is N26. And this is for a rubbleization and overlay of Route 460 in Appomattox, uh, Appomattox County. We have but one offer, and the single offer comes from Boxley Materials Company. Their bid is $5,337,126.65. The low bid, single bid, did not exceed the engineer's estimate. Moving now to order N28, this is a Route 460 at Franklin Street Ramp Construction in Montgomery County. We have four offers. First offer comes from DLB Enterprises LLC. Their bid is $1,399,997.64. W.C. English, Inc., $1,196,999. Boring Contractors, Inc., $1,152,469.05. And the final offer for N28 comes from E.C. Pace Company, Inc. Their bid is $1,000,000. 
$74,268.80. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Okay, in 29, this is a project to add left turn lanes on Route 156 in Prince George County. We have uh, eight offers. First offer comes from Gyra Construction Company, Inc. with a bid of $1,125,168. <clears throat> Fielder's Choice Enterprises, Inc. $829,332.30. Branscombe, Inc. $809,790.83. J.R. Kasky, $734,753.59. J.L. Kent & Sons, Inc., $629,279.02. Howard Brothers Contractors, Inc., $618,005.71. Shoesmith Construction, Inc., $594,175.40. And the final offer for N29 comes from Henry S. Branscombe, LLC. Their bid, $580,957.69. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Okay, the next job is N30. This is a project to replace the tunnel lighting in the city of Norfolk. We have four offers. First offer comes from McLean and Company, Inc. Their bid is $1,995,371.57. Lighting Maintenance Incorporated. $1,985,819.88. Dory Electric, uh, $1,945,687.81. And the final offer for N30 comes from E.G. Middleton, Inc., with a bid of $1 million. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Okay, the next job is N31. This is an asphalt plant mix in James City in York County. We have two offers. First offer comes from Allen Myers, Virginia, Inc. Their bid is $3,488,777. And the final offer for N31 comes from Branscombe, Inc. Their bid is $3,178,266.44. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. <clears throat> In 34, this is a 
district-wide pipe rehab job in Lynchburg. It's also a Virginia Small Business Enterprise only project. We have two offers. First offer comes from Ramirez Contracting LLC. Their bid is $1,479,929.54. And the final offer for N34 comes from Pearson Construction, Inc. Their bid is $1,479,625.55. The low bid exceeds the limits of the evaluative estimate. In 36, uh, this is for a widening of Lee Highway and, and Pickwick Road in Fairfax County. We have six offers. First offer comes from Jiry Construction Company, Inc. Their bid is $1,296,756. Milani Construction, LLC. $1,197,477.60 Fort Myer Construction Corporation $959,146.20 Pardon me A&M Concrete Corporation $921,586.60 and 10 cents. Jeffrey Stack, Inc., $907,377. And the final offer for order N36 comes from Arthur Construction Company, Inc. Their bid $634,937.50. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. <clears throat> Order N38, this is an on-call bridge repair in the Stanton, Stanton District. We have two offers. First offer comes from Wagman Heavy Civil, Inc. Their bid, $6,926,178.81. And the final offer for N38 comes from Lanford Brothers Company, Inc. With a bid of $5,089,516.30. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Order N39. This is another on-call bridge repair, this time in the Bristol District. <clears throat> and we have two offers. First offer comes from Lanford Brothers Company, Inc. with a bid of $2,874,648.50. And the final offer for N39 comes from Elk Knob, Inc. Their bid is $2,580,345. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Moving now to N41, uh, this is a job to improve North Main Street and 460 in the town of Blacksburg. We have three offers. First offer comes from DLB Enterprises, Inc., or LLC, sorry. Their bid is $1,896,932.58. DCI Shires, Inc., $1,677,989.30 and the final offer for N41 comes from Allegheny Construction Company, Inc. 
with a bid of $1,583,296.40. The low bid exceeds the limits of the evaluative estimate. N42, this is for on-call guardrail repair in the Richmond District in the southern parts. We have four offers. First offer comes from D'Angelo Brothers LLC. Their bid is $2,284,540. Mako Inc., $2,207,207. Curtis Contracting Inc., $1,638,633.68. And the final offer for N42 comes from L.S. Lee, Inc., with a bid of $1,458,091.50. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Okay, N43, this is uh, another on-call guard rail repair in Richmond District, but this time the northern portion. Again, we have four bids. First offer comes from Mako, Inc., with a bid of $2,372,337. D'Angelo Brothers, LLC, $2,312,690. Curtis Contracting, Inc., $1,656,076.18. And the final offer for N43 comes from L.S. Lee, Inc. Their bid is $1,493,460.25. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Moving now to N47, this is a contract to retrace pavement markings in the Lebanon residency, and we have four offers. First offer is from A&A Safety, Inc., with a bid of $567,412.20. Central Seal Company, $460,751.20. $452,761.84. And the final, job, uh, final offer for N47 comes from Oglesby Construction, Inc., with a bid of $436,324.60. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the value of estimate. In 48, this is a project to retrace pavement markings in the Wise residency. We have four offers. First offer comes from A&A Safety, Inc. Their bid is $496,495.20. Duramark, Inc., $467,926. Central Seal Company, $400,813.60. And the final offer for N48 comes from Oglesby Construction, Inc. Their bid is $389,936.40. The final offer did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. Order U-51, this is a job to inspect and replace raised pavement markings district-wide in Bristol. We have two offers. First offer comes from A&A Safety, Inc. Their bid 
$384,127.50. And the final offer for U51 comes from WL Markers, Inc. Their bid, $353,007 even. Low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. And our final job for today is order U55. Uh, this is a project to upgrade Route 729 in Pulaski County. We have two offers. First offer is from Boring Contractors, Inc. Their bid is $388,647 even. And the final offer for U55 comes from C.R. Henderson with a bid of $299,591.50. The low bid did not exceed the limits of the evaluative estimate. That was the end of our jobs. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again in April.